Battle Royales, RPGs, Endless Runners, puzzle games, and even AAAs, thanks to cloud gaming, are all types of games we can now access on our mobile devices. Sweet. If your device can handle it, that is. Here are some quick tips to boost mobile gaming performance on your iPhone or Android device. This is DIY in 5. Hey everyone, welcome to DIY in 5. I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and today we are going to help you get the best gaming performance possible out of your smartphone. Overheating, lag, frame drops, these issues have plagued mobile gaming for ages. And even though smartphone technology has come a long way, and even with certain phones being made specifically with gamers in mind, you can still be interrupted just enough to get pwned. When the performance capabilities of your phone can quite literally give you the winning edge, it's important to take every precaution to get the most juice out of your device. If you find the tips in today's video useful, please go ahead and like this video, subscribe to this channel, and ring that bell so that you don't miss out on any future tech tips. First things first, update your phones, then update your games. Developers are constantly enhancing game features with regular app updates, and often these app updates are specifically made to make use of the latest operating system features, which improve the performance. So you want these to be as current as possible. In addition, OS updates can include browser and performance updates on their own that can enhance your game. It's good practice to check for software updates in your system settings at least once per month. After updating your software, then you'll want to make sure the hardware resources on your phone aren't being used up elsewhere. Clearing cached data, aka information saved by your device when you use certain apps or visit certain websites, is a great start. It builds up over time and can slow down your system tremendously. You can clear your cache data in storage settings. Other ways to free up more storage space include removing unwanted apps, backing up or moving old photos and videos from local storage to somewhere else, and in general, you want to keep your phone's local storage under 90% to make sure it's not impacting overall performance. Most phones allow you to see which items are taking up the most storage on your phone so you can delete and reorganize accordingly. In addition to storage concerns, other performance vampires that may be the culprit of sluggish gameplay include apps running in the background, which you can alleviate by turning off background apps, refreshing your iPhone, or by installing Game Booster apps on Android. These tend to be better than the task killer apps of the past because they will only shut down apps in the background that are impacting your game performance and have built-in optimization for utilization of RAM, CPU, and battery life as well. Bonus! Other things to try include disabling live wallpapers, super complex widgets, and disabling bloatware. Then there's networking to think about. If Wi-Fi is available and you are connected to it, it's best to turn on airplane mode. If Wi-Fi is available and you aren't using it, you may want to disable Wi-Fi altogether so that your phone isn't constantly scanning or trying to connect. Certain apps will also continuously update location using GPS, so restricting their access or disabling it altogether can help boost performance too. Next, let's make sure you are getting the most out of features that may be already cooked into your hardware and software. Making sure you're on the fastest cellular network available is a good start. Some phones will let you choose this by navigating to your system settings. In your audio settings, see if there are features that will boost gaming audio, like Samsung's Dolby Atmos for gaming, or display settings to enable a higher refresh rate if your phone supports it. Finally, enable Do Not Disturb. Nothing's worse than getting a phone call or text at that crucial moment, which can cover part or all of your screen and sometimes even close you out of your game altogether. It's also worth noting that most of the tips that I've mentioned today are great for boosting battery life in general, so yay for longer gaming sessions. So just for fun, what's your favorite mobile game right now? Let us know in the comments. I'm personally thrilled that I can play games like Halo Master Chief Collection and Witcher 3 on my phone via Game Pass Ultimate, so that's where most of my mobile gaming time is being spent, but I'm always looking for good recommendations. All right, thanks for watching everyone and happy gaming.